At 6.32 a.m., three hours before launch, on pad 39A, Armstrong and Aldrin walked on the surface of the Earth. Their next steps would be on the moon. Spectators rolled in by the thousands. Campers, trailers, cars, and pickups filled the campsites and the beaches, lined the highways, lined the parkways, nose to tailgate, Cape Canaveral to Titusville. pressure and temperature, digital transmission worldwide tracking, stabilization and guidance, radio frequency telemetry and voice communications, signal conditioner integration, spacecraft electrical power, flight control, S4B propulsion stage monitoring, S1C, S2 propulsion stage. Every important valve, gauge, and circuit was continually monitored at Launch Control Center throughout the 28-hour countdown. Countdown are still going well. T-minus 55 minutes, 10 seconds and counting. This is Kennedy. Among the 6,000 special guests were a vice president, an ex-president, two plane loads of the diplomatic corps from Washington, 205 U.S. congressmen, 19 governors, 30 senators, 50 mayors from cities across the country, movie celebrities and television personalities, and another two plane loads of dignitaries from Europe. Not so very different from the morning before or tomorrow morning. This day on which man will leave Earth to walk on the moon, three billion people went about their daily lives, some in the way their ancestors did centuries before, others in a world shaped by modern technology. It seemed that most people were unaware that this event might change the history of the human race, that this morning would be marked in history books and learned by their children's children. In what age of man will the meaning of this morning be understood?
This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control. We passed the six-minute mark in our countdown for Apollo 11, the flight to land of the first men on the moon. We're on time at the present time for our planned liftoff of 32 minutes past the hour. Coming up shortly, that swing arm up at the spacecraft level will come back to its fully retracted position. This should occur at the five-minute mark in the count. The swing arm now coming back as our countdown continues. Skip Chauvin informing the astronauts that the swing arm now coming back. Four minutes and counting, we are go for Apollo 11. We'll be coming up in the automatic sequence about to 10 or 15 seconds from this time. The vehicle starting to pressurize as far as the propellant tanks are concerned, and all is still go as we monitor our status for it. Firing command coming in now. We're on an automatic sequence as the master computer supervises hundreds of events occurring over these last few minutes. Two minutes, ten seconds, and counting. Oxidizer tanks in the second and third stages now have pressurized. T minus one minute, 35 seconds. The third stage completely pressurized. T minus 60 seconds and counting. We pass T minus 60. 55 seconds and counting. Neil Armstrong reported back when he received the good wishes. Thank you very much. We know it will be a good flight. Good luck and Godspeed. 40 seconds away from the Apollo 11 liftoff. All the second stage tanks now pressurized. 35 seconds and counting. We are still go with Apollo 11. 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. 6, 